We begin with sad news. Portland Trailblazers owner Paul Allen has died at the age of 65. Mr. Allen recently tweeted that his non-Hodgkin's lymphoma had returned. Uh, he was the co-founder of Microsoft and heavily involved in sports ownership from the Blazers to the Seattle Seahawks to the Seattle Sounders. His sister Jody issued a statement saying, quote, my brother was a remarkable individual on every level. While most knew Paul was a technological philanthropist, for us, he was a much-loved brother and uncle, an exceptional friend, end quote. And Paul Allen, as you can see, the many ownership uh, opportunities that he had and uh, just a terrible, terrible loss as we come to you live here on Game Time. And Adam Silver released a statement saying, Paul was the ultimate trailblazer in business, philanthropy, and in sports. As one of the longest tenured owners in the NBA, Paul brought a sense of discovery and vision to every league matter, large and small. He was generous with his time on committee work, and his expertise helped lay the foundation for the league's growth internationally and our embrace of new technologies. He was a valued voice who challenged assumptions and conventional wisdom, and one we will deeply miss as we start a new season without him. Our condolences go to his family, friends, and the entire Trailblazers organization. And we are joined by Kevin McHale and Isaiah Thomas. Gentlemen, how will you remember the late, great Paul Allen? I mean, there, there's so many good things that he's done with his life. I mean, uh, Microsoft has touched everybody's life in the world, and he being one of the co-founders. And then when you look at what he was able to do locally uh, for two cities in terms of Seattle with the Seahawks, in terms of the Trailblazers, the entertainment that he provided, the life that he led, and the life that he's allowed a lot of us to, to lead, you know, from Microsoft to sports and entertainment. I mean, he truly was a, a trailblazer, a pioneer, and a visionary for all of us. Yeah, I remember he was the first of the Silicon Valley guys to kind of yeah. come in young. You, 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 heck, years, he's, he's had that team for almost 30 years, I think. And he was a young man when he bought the team. I remember thinking, saying, how can a young guy like that have that much money? But, uh, uh, you know, he built the Rose Garden out there. He just did a lot of stuff for Portland, the Portland Trailblazers. And he's going to be missed. I, just a sad day. 65 is just way too, uh, way too young. Well said, Kevin. Well said. And Clippers owner and former Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer, obviously very close to Mr. Allen, tweeted, Paul was a truly wonderful, bright, and inspiring person and a great friend. I will miss him. And now joining us on the phone is former Trailblazers player from 1998 to 2001 and, of course, current NBA TV analyst Greg Anthony. And, G.A., first of all, condolences to you and the family and friends of Paul Allen. Yeah, it really is a sad day for the Trailblazer family. Uh, and, and just hearing Kevin and, and Isaiah touch upon, you know, obviously what he was able to be a part of in, in, in building Microsoft, but, you know, I... I I know a few billionaires, but I don't know anybody any more humble than Paul Allen was. Uh, gracious with his time, uh, you know, never was about him. Uh, it was always about the organization, from my standpoint, being the, the Trailblazers. Uh, not only did he spare no expense, mo expense monetarily, but really uh, spared no expense in terms of his commitment to the franchise and to the city of Portland. Uh, tremendously sad to, to have him pass at, the, you know, the, the ripe young age of 65. Uh, just a lot of wonderful memories. Uh, we were fortunate enough. We used to practice every year at his home in in, uh, in Seattle, just outside of Seattle, when we go up and play the Sonics. Uh, and, and what a, an amazing treat! He basically built a replica of our practice facility uh, at his home. Uh, and so we'd go there every year for practice, and uh, that's when you really kind of got to spend time with him where his guard was down, and, you know, we could ask him questions. And, you know, I was just in, in shock when I, when I heard the news today. Uh, it, it is, you know, so much excitement and anticipation for the upcoming season throughout the league, obviously in Portland as well, and to have something like this transpire, it, it's truly sad, but, but – Definitely we have to appreciate all that he's meant, not just for the Blazers, but for the NBA as a whole. If you think about the growth our league uh, has uh, experienced since he's become a part of the league, it's, it's pretty monumental. And he is one of those trailblazers, no pun intended, uh, and his legacy will, will live for a very long time.
GA, how will the history books define Mr. Allen's ownership of the Portland Trailblazers? I think he was class personified. Uh, if you think about it, uh, he was one of the first guys. I remember when I got there, you know, private tra uh, travel was kind of coming into vogue. Uh, it was becoming more popular. And, and what happens is, you know, the players talk, right? Like, you know, what kind of practice facility you guys have and what plane are you on? And, you know, Mr. Allen had – we had a 757. That's the team plane. Okay, so it was a pretty cool experience. And every now and then our plane, you know, you'd have to have service or whatever, and we get to use his 757, which was decked out completely different. Ours was nice, don't get me wrong, but his was incredible. But he was he was just a, a gracious, generous human being. And and you heard the, the the statement from Adam Silver from the commissioner. You know, a lot of the things he did, a, a lot of our fans, while they get to appreciate it now, had no idea that he was at the forefront in terms of the technological advances, uh, that he really provided a lot of guidance to the commissioner and to the league office on. Uh, that, that guy was, he was incredible. And if you think about it, you know, we have a lot of faces of our league. Mark Cuban stands out. Steve Ballmer, his former partner, is one of those guys, you know, that they're kind of out there. He was the exact opposite. He was really behind the scenes, never wanted any attention, uh, really wanted it to be about the team, the organization, the players, the city. Uh, and I think that's something that will even be more so appreciated in his absence. Uh, just an incredible person, you know. And, again, in a time where it's harder to have such, such a successful franchise in a smaller market, uh, the Blazers have thrived. Uh, they prospered. And a lot of that is because of his belief in that team and in that city. G.A., thank you so much for the time. It's obviously a tremendously difficult day, but uh, we appreciate it, and we will talk to you very soon. All right, guys. Take care. Over the course of several decades, Paul Allen gave more than $2 billion to a wide range of interests, including ocean health, homelessness, and advancing scientific research. Today, he is gone at the age of 65 he will be dearly missed.